1974, Black Sabbath was in the middle of their Sabbath Bloody Sabbath world tour. Well, these days it's definitely hanging out with my daughter, but music research is always my favorite thing to do when I don't actually have the violin in my hands. There's nothing better than a great doctoral dissertation with lots of footnotes. When I got married, definitely Maud Powell. Well, if it was to listen to, there would be way too many to list, but to play, I guess I would have to say the Brahms Violin Concerto. Bach. Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Well, I don't have like a slogan or a mantra, but definitely serving God and serving others as a way to serve God. And the way that I do that is with my music. Oh, well, what did my husband say they were a few minutes ago? <laughs> now you're probably gonna use that. <laughs> Perseverance and discipline and enthusiasm. Paganini Caprice number five. The worst thing in the world is when you get into an elevator and then there's that elevator ding that's an interval, but it's not quite in tune. Oh my gosh, that bugs me like so badly. Oh, I wanna show it. I wanted to like hold it up and show it. Um, can you pass my phone? This is when my husband first gave our daughter her first violin when she was 10 months old. Well, I have to admit, the first thing I think about is, what am I gonna to practice today? And then the second thing I think about is, when am I gonna practice it? Well, I mean, cars are a, a little bit of a thrill, but I much prefer roller coasters to be a violinist. Well, it's a tie. There's a particular Bordeaux, which it happens to be a, like however many star Bordeaux, but it also is called Chateau Léoville Barton. So it's the Barton wine and it's so yummy. But as far as single malts, I love Talisker from the Isle of Skye. Watermelon. I actually once ate an entire watermelon at a single sitting and we're talking right. an oval watermelon. Right. I felt so sick. That was my one teenage OD experience. <laughs> Definitely half full, actually, to the point of my friends teasing me. Like, it'll be blizzarding out, and everybody else is like, oh no, there's going to be so much traffic, and I'm the one going, it's so beautiful, it looks like we're in a snow globe, and they're, like, you know, making fun of me for my positivity. <laughs> well, I guess my back? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I don't want to say that anybody's failed, and how do you even define success? I think one of the th things to, in order to be happy as a musician is to really be true to yourself and look for what's going to artistically be satisfying and not get hung up on how famous are you or how much money are you making or any of those artificial things because you could actually succeed on those fronts and not be happy if you're not fulfilling yourself artistically. Well, if you ever find out, let me know. <laughs> Oh gosh. So there were a couple of shows where I happened to be sitting in the same box as Billy Corgan and then this one gossip column said maybe they're dating and I was like, gross. Well, I've had the, the great privilege to have so many fun and exciting projects through the years, 30 albums at this point, which is just amazing. Um, but my newest one, the Bach Sedanas and Partidas, it's not only you know all of what I've learned about Bach up to this point in my life that I'm now going to share with, with listeners, but also I'm simultaneously publishing my own edition of the Sonatas and Partitas so that everybody can see what I think about the music um, right there on the page, which I'm really excited to share with people. Well, my violin professor, Roland Vemos, always said that it was our duty and our joy to try to leave the world a little bit better place than where we found it. And so working towards that end is you know, just sort of the guiding principle. Well, I have absolutely no idea. I'm definitely optimistic, but I'm excited to kind of, you know, do what I can towards classical music's future, but also wait and see what the next generation is going to come up with. And I think it's going to be something that none of us would have ever expected, but it's going to be absolutely thrilling.